Tyson, kind of a two-part question. One, what does it mean to you to pass your dad on the all-time scoring list? And two, are you just kind of happy that it's behind you now? Um, it means a lot. But yeah, I'm, I am kind of happy that it's behind me. I haven't really think about. It. I haven't been thinking about that much because we've been losing. I just been wanting to win, and um, that's the main reason why I'm so happy. Like, just we're back on, on track and back to winning some games. We'll go to Tyler in the second row in the green. To Tyler's Tyson, left. You struggled in some of the conference games coming into this game. What, what did it mean? Did you see the ball go through the hole a little bit there and score 15 points tonight? Um, it meant a lot because um, I have been struggling, like you said. So um, just seeing a couple of them fall, you know, it's definitely a confidence boost. Go ahead and get Brian in the middle second row. Tyson, coming off the bench, did that affect your mindset in the end coming into this game? Um, just made me relax more and just just um just play ball. It, it gave me a good feel just to read and just just see what's going on out there. Um, so I just didn't press to just force the issue. I just let the game come to me. We'll stay middle second row with Joel. Reggie, I know it's one game at the time and you don't really have must win games. I don't guess in January, but just how big was this win considering what's happened so far in SEC play? Come out and beat this one tonight. Um, it was a really big win. Um, us going uh on three to start the to start the um. The SEC, um, we it was a must win for us um, to get us um, back on track, and I felt like um, we played really well, and um, they got us back on track because we just have a lot of confidence in ourselves now of how we played off tonight, and we're just gonna try to build on it. Go back to Tyler, second row to the players left. Tyson, going back to coming off the bench, what is it like for a player like you who's pretty much a you know a starter night in night out to have to kind of readjust your mindset and. Uh, you know, know that you're not going to be out there when the game tips. You're going to have to come off and, and relieve somebody and come into the game that way. I mean, it's not too big of an adjustment. Um, you just got to just do whatever it takes to win. Um, just coming off the bench, like I said, just just gets a better feel for it. I've been coming off the bench in the past, so it's not too big of an adjustment. Go to Paul here, front to the left. Reggie, un unlike, I, I guess, the LSU game, you guys put a lot of consecutive productive offensive possessions together in that first half to get that big lead. What seemed like you guys were moving the ball better. Was was it just that or other things about being patient? Um like you said that was that was that was the biggest thing. We wanted to be patient. And when we patient, um I remember the first uh first meet of timeout, Coach Allen said when we were four for six when we were patient, um so far. So we tried building on that throughout the entire game. Um and we just got good, um, good shots. Anything else for the players before we get Coach Allen in here? All right. Thank you, guys.